Breezy 101, welcome into Good Morning Kosciuszko. And you saw that article online yesterday of our, our pal Jay Henry, Kosciuszko native, that was on, uh, or is on right now, Last Chance You on uh, on Netflix. Season 4 came out over the weekend. And Jay, we, we caught up with him. Jay is uh, in here with us this morning. Jay, thanks for coming on. It's nice to be here, Brick. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing great. So tell us all about, um, I guess, Last Chance You and uh, being out there in Independence, Kansas, when the uh, when the show was uh, being filmed. Yeah, I was living in Startville last year, and uh, I watched season three. After I watched it, I was tweeting a bunch of stuff, and I had Coach Brown some stuff, and uh, he followed me, and then I was talking to a friend up there. We both, like, kind of talked about, you know, me sending him a direct message on Twitter, and he responded like 20 minutes to add him on Facebook. And so I did. And then like the next night, him and the athletic director, Tammy Hildenace, they both interviewed me at like 11 o'clock at night on the Facebook video chat. Facebook video chat interview. Never done that. But that's uh, apparently it worked for you. So you get out there, you get the job, you get up to Kansas uh, a little while later. What's, what's different between Mississippi and Kansas? I've been to Kansas. I know there's nothing out there. It's just flat. What else is different? <laughs> It's really flat, <laughs> really flat. Uh, Independence, Kansas is not that much different from Kosciuszko. A little bit bigger, small town, you know, but a lot of great people there, very friendly, very helpful, you know, if you need anything. I would say that uh, my time at Independence, especially on the show, was pretty enjoyable. The season the season was pre pretty rocky. If you've seen the show, if not, I won't. I won't spoil it anymore. <laughs> Tell us about you know um, the the I guess the season and how how are things different from uh, when, when they're filming and what you actually see on the uh, on the show because we know it's, we got TV magic and movie magic all the time. So how's it different? Uh, yes, sir. It's really different. Uh, there was a lot more uh, stuff going on than they actually show in the show. Like. It's pretty crazy. You had dudes over here dancing in the in the park lot in front of the dorm. Somebody shot some fireworks one day. That doesn't get on there at all. It's a lot of stuff that, that went on during the season of football that you know that they don't show probably because of of time restraints for the season. So tell us about. Let's see, what was the guy? I haven't watched season four yet. Haven't had time. Uh, but tell us about the uh, the guy last year. Was his name Austin? He made some uh, made some music. He made a music video, and it was really really cool. So did you get to meet him and hang out with him? I actually met Austin like within the first week of being up there. He doesn't live on campus. He lives right right down the road from the school. Uh, his grandpa's house is where he is the most time. Uh, he has all this studio stuff upstairs. His grandpa's house. He makes music, and uh, he's actually got. A whole bunch of songs on SoundCloud, I think Spotify too. Uh, he's even got his is is on YouTube channel. It's uh, it's uh, his music name is Fatal. It's spelled P H A T A H L. But uh, there's some good stuff on there, and uh, I've actually I've actually found myself listening to listening to some of his stuff while i'm working out i can imagine uh, being on a netflix show kind of kind of helps out with that so um as far as y what you did at um independence at, at kansas you were a sports information director so uh quickly we can just uh kind of explain what exactly a sports information director does all right so what i did was like i would go to the games and like i would see the games i would tell the story about the game so like to catch up people you know that maybe weren't at the game or were too far away or couldn't watch the live stream that they had going on and uh i did this for more sports than just football they had five sports they had football men and women's basketball softball volleyball they even had a competitive cheer squad a stunt team other than that i also controlled the social media i made them i made them a new Twitter the second semester because something went wrong with old Twitter. It got hacked or something. I was kind of a marketing guy for them too. Yeah. So like like most sports information directors, you end up doing a, a lot of a lot of different wearing a lot of different hats and doing a lot uh, a lot more work. But that's uh, Jay Henry hanging out with us this morning. But I think you're you're down in Flowood now, right, Jay? Yes, sir. Currently, I'm down in Flowood. You know, I'm still 
grinding you know for the next opportunity at the next level you know whatever it may be but uh after the show aired my twitter instantly started started blowing up uh this lady from texas actually found me yesterday on facebook and uh then i guess she thought i was still there so like she sent me highlight film of her son's playing a football which (laughs) which i immediately passed along to coach harris and some other coaches i know around the area but for right now until i get to that next level i've actually uh recently i've started doing doing some freelance articles kind of indie related for now eventually that'll change i just put out the first one yesterday it's a malik henry story type of deal it's very positive you know it's on my tumblr not a lot of people know what tumblr is it's kind of scarce unless you're like into the whole journalism blogging world all these articles that i do as i do them uh, i'm going to post them to my twitter and people people can see them read them retweet them like them whatever share them uh my twitter is at j hustle sports all caps all together We'll get that plugged in uh, online where people can just click the link. But, Jay, we appreciate you for, for coming on. And I, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to be watching Last Chance. You haven't got a chance to watch it yet. Going to go home and uh, going to turn it on. And uh, we'll be we'll be looking for you there. I've already seen a couple of people tweeting you and me- Facebook messaging you um, uh, about the show. But thanks for coming on. Kaziusko native Jay Henry in with us this morning. Catch him on Last Chance You on Netflix.